The last section for this chapter is the trampoline. I like the trampoline problem. Fun problem that brings in the spring, constant. So here we have the trampoline. We're gonna have the person come down from a certain height. So uh, here the person say is in the process of falling down, but let's say it was, it was like this was the height. Then this is gonna sag a little bit and we want to know what is the distance x that it's going to sag if you're given the spring constant. All right, so let's work out this problem, the trampoline. Now for the trampoline, you have a person that's, this is before, or say up position, and then afterwards, this is bottom before up top, and this is say bottom after, and this Depression is X, I have the height H to start with, and I have a spring constant. Now this K, I'm having a little trouble with my Ks here, making them look the same as kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is capital K, one half mv squared. And the little K is in Hooke's law when you have the, the K, the hook, the spring constant. So you're, you're given a spring constant in this problem, and this probably want to do with the variables. So I'm going to give this picture another diagram here, where this here is your X to get down there like that at the bottom, and then this is your H. And let's go with, let's go with top and bottom. So the kinetic energy at the top plus the potential energy at the top equals the kinetic energy at the bottom plus potential energy at the bottom. So at the top, well, we gotta decide now where to put our reference. I'm gonna put the reference, I'm gonna, and you're, you're free to choose your references because when you subtract potential energies, you know, they'll, they'll drop out. So we're gonna say that the reference the zero point reference is at the bottom there. That's potential energy of zero for gravity in my setup. So the top, I'm gonna to drop from rest, so that's zero. And at the top, I have mg h plus x, and that's important. I think when I first did this problem, I, I didn't do that many, many years ago. Because see, you're, at, you're gonna fall h plus x, so when you're pressing in this trampoline, your gravity's still working on you. So that you're still getting some effect from gravity. So this is at the bottom, the kinetic energy is going to be equal to zero, and you're gonna have one half kx squared, the spring. There'll be no gravitational potential energy because you're at the reference point, the zero point. So this gets us mgh plus mgx, equals one half kx squared. Uh, looks like a quadratic equation, folks, on this one here. So if I multiply it through by the two, it 
and get the equation in standard form. Your standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And then when you apply the quadratic formula, the solution is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in our case, the a is equal to k, the b is equal to minus 2mg, and the c is equal to minus 2 m g h and now we're going to apply apply this formula so we have minus minus 2 m g that's your minus b and then plus or minus we're going to be squaring this thing so this will be 2mg squared. The minus sign squared is going to just be a plus 1. And then when we subtract here, we're going to have a minus 4. And the a is k. And the c is minus 2mgh. And that's all going to be over... 2k. Now, since x is positive, let's see what we have here. We're going to have a positive 2mg here, but when you take the square root of this thing, since this is positive, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do it one more step so we can we can see it all. This is going to be 2mg squared, and then plus, this is going to be here, plus, I'm going to leave that 4 there, okay, now you can see that this is all positive, so when you take the square root, it's going to be bigger than 2mg. So if you have a, a minus sign there, that's bad news. You won't get x as positive, so you want a positive solution. So for x, we want the positive solution. Let's notice that the 2's cancel here. So that's mg plus, and for the square root, when the 2 goes in, the square root sign, it'll go in as a 2 squared. I'll cancel this, so you'll have an mg squared, and it will cancel that 4. So you'll have k with 2mgh, and all that is over k. So I took the 2, cancel that 2. 2 goes in as divided inside by four, so that knocks out that two, which is squared, and that four goes away. So that's what we have. And what we'll do next is we'll take out the mg from the square root sign. So this will be a one, and then I'll have to put, when the mg comes out, it's one over the quantity mg squared over there, so I'm going to need to have a two. The two will be there, kh over mg, and all that is over k. Let's just check this. If I bring the mg in, it goes in squared because it's a square root sign. That's this one, and when it goes in squared. This cancels one of them in the numerator, so you're just left with mg in the numerator. So everything checks out. And to write this equation out, get a pen.
pen that's not as worn down as much. If I get write this equation out, I'm going to have x is equal to mg over k. I take the mg over k, see two places, and then I'm going to have 1, mg over k, one of them, and then I'm going to have here the square root sign where there's 1 plus 2kh over mg. What a cool equation. Awesome. Nice. Uh, did, you, did the units check out? Well, kx is a force, so we brought the k over here. We have a force, and mg is a force, so that looks good. And then kh is a force over mg, so there's no units there, so no units in here. And then when you have the k over there and mg units, uh, you're good. You're very, very good. Notice that when x is zero, in other words, suppose you put someone here and then let them fall to get a little distance. You might think that in that case, you would want to have kx and mg balanced. You would expect to have mg over k. But here, when h is zero, you don't get that. You get when h is equal to zero, the x becomes mg over k, one plus, that's part zero, but then you have another one. You actually get two mg over k. Why is that? Well, that's because you don't have static equilibrium. There's acceleration. You're actually going to be moving back up in the next instant. So that's cool. If you were to put the person and put them, you know, push down and just gently let them go, you know, have it static equilibrium, put, put them there and let go, then you would have this case. But if you fall from here to get, to get, the, get some kind of, you know, say movement down, you find that since there's acceleration, there's not a case of statics. So that's deep stuff to think about. All right, we're finished the chapter.